Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Have another Common Rider X Aid review for you today. This is a uh, Level Up Rider Series PB01 Common Rider X Aid Action Gamer Level 1 Full Action. So that's kind of a mouthful. Basically, what it is, it's X Aid's Level 1 form, but in a highly posable action figure as opposed to the Level Up Rider series when you fold up X-Aid's Level 2 and put it into the shell you have really just a little bit of arm articulation so this is a really nice highly posable form of his Level 1 form so kind of hilarious, <laughs> I love this picture on the side, I don't know why the box is obviously uh, pink and white not really any other colors going on not a whole lot going on there on the bottom or on the top so let's go ahead, we'll get him out of the packaging, and we'll take a closer look. So here he is out of the packaging, uh, and I have to say I think they did a pretty good job as far as the proportions and everything. It's nice to have a version of the level 1 form that doesn't have, like, X-Aids level 2 form hanging out the back. Uh, I think the hair looks absolutely hilarious, and I love the giant head. They did a nice job with the detailing and the paint here in the chest area. We'll get a little bit closer so we can see that. You can see the sword and the mallet. That's his primary weapons, kind of the Famicom, Super Famicom joypad kind of shown over here. At least that's what I've always thought it's supposed to represent. Uh, nice paint here on the uh, driver. You can see that it does have the uh, Gashat. Oh, wow, I'm blanking on all my terms. The Gamer Driver and the Gashat for Mighty Action X is inserted there, which I think is a pretty nice touch. Zooming back out. Uh, articulation real quick obviously the head does not move at all the L or the shoulder joint can go up and down and also spin all the way around you have a bicep swivel as you can see here you have an elbow joint 90 degrees the wrist swivels and then you have the uh, fingers open and closed just like a normal level up rider figure you have waist swivel here now the feet, or I should say the hips, are on kind of a weird joint where like, because it knows like to sit flush and look normal, but you can, like, it pulls down a little bit so that you can move the feet, which looks a little weird back here, and if you were to just pull this straight down again, you can see how it kind of, like, hangs down, but then you can kind of push it back into place. So that's just so, I assume that's just so you can get clearance on this leg, because otherwise... You probably wouldn't be able to do so. Um, you also have a knee. 90 degrees there. At the knee. There's also a swivel at the knee. And then there's another swivel actually at the ankle. So it's a decent amount of articulation. You can see the Kimawaza slot holder on the side. Kind of wish that was painted the right colors. One of my only real complaints about the figure. Um, that's just solid black which is kind of a bummer. He does come with a, um, wow, I'm completely blanking. What is wrong with my brain today? A Gashicon Breaker? Wow, we, I'm really losing it. But this is really nicely painted. You have the A and B button. You have the front of the mallet painted. You have the pink part up here that would normally flip up to become the sword. He only comes with the one because in level one he really only uses it as a mallet. He doesn't turn into a sword until level 2, so it makes sense to only get this form of it. But it's nicely painted. I kind of would have liked if this thing on the back was painted black. Again, minor nitpick. I think the buttons in the front of the mallet and the top here are obviously the most important parts. But, could have shown a little bit of extra love. I mean, for what this thing costs, and that's kind of my only other complaint about this figure, it's kind of more expensive than it needs to be in my opinion. Because it was, after middleman fees and shipping and everything, it was probably upwards of like 60 bucks, maybe even more. I can't remember exactly because I bought a bunch of stuff at the time. So I don't remember the specific single price of this. And it's probably a good thing because <laughs> I really don't think it needs to be that expensive. It's a nice figure. It looks great. Nice posability. The detailing, the paint. I love the head, the driver, the weapon. It's all very nice. I just, I don't know if it needed to be that expensive. I feel like you could have easily sold this for 30 maybe 35 before fees, instead of selling it, like, for 50 before fees. But you can go ahead, pop in the weapon, and he holds it pretty well, actually. 
surprisingly well considering level up rider figures don't usually hold their weapons all that great. But he holds it pretty nicely. And then you can get like a classic jumping pose. <laughs> I will say I, I love this form, so I love having this figure. Because I really do like the level 1s. I'm kind of bummed they don't really show up in the show all that much anymore. For a time, x -Aid would still show his um, level 10 for Mighty Brothers before he would split into the two level 10s. But even he doesn't really use that anymore. So the fat little chibi forms have kind of gone away. But I still love them. I still think they're fantastic. And I still really like having one that's not just the shell that comes with the level up rider figures because although the shell works it's not perfect and it certainly doesn't have the articulation you'd want to get the fun poses that you can with this thing so i really like this a lot i do the only thing i could possibly complain about maybe a little bit more pain here on the kima was the slot holder maybe a little more pain here on the gashikon breaker otherwise i'm pretty happy i like all the points of articulation i don't really know what other point of articulation I would add there's really no sense to add any articulation to the head because on the show it doesn't even look like the suit has it so that doesn't make any sense I mean you have it in the shoulders the elbow the bicep the wrist the fingers waist hip knee two two articulation points in the knee and then the ankle so I really don't know what else you'd want for articulation I think they did a pretty good job on that like I said maybe one or two more little paint applications Otherwise, I think it's pretty good. I just think it could have been maybe $10 cheaper. And I think it would have been a little bit better. But overall, I do like it. So, I mean, if you can find one of these on something like Mandarake, where you can get it a little bit cheaper than normal retail, or, you know, I shouldn't say retail, but normal premium Bandai prices without your middleman fees and shipping and everything, um then I think absolutely pick it up. Like, if you could find this on Mandaraki for 30 bucks plus shipping, grab it for sure. Definitely worth it. Because it really is a fun figure, and I do like it a lot. I just think the premium Bandai price after fees and shipping was a tad more than it really needed to be. And that's my only real complaint. Like I said, a couple nitpicky paint apps. Sure, you could always do more, but the price is really the only thing that I have to complain about. Otherwise, it's a really fun release. I don't know if they'll do any more. I don't know if originally their plans were to do more, but I feel like at this point, since you don't really see them on the show anymore, I don't know if they'll continue because I feel like fan interest might have waned. Um, I'm not sure. Time will tell. I don't know what else they would do in the premium Bandai line. I'm sure there's going to be forms from movies and stuff that won't make the normal retail line. So kind of like how Ghost did uh, the movie forms in a premium Bandai release, x -Aid might do something similar. That's kind of their MO. So we'll have to wait and see. But as far as PB-01 goes, I like it. Just see if you can find it a little cheaper. Otherwise, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like and share this video, and please subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you've enjoyed this look at Level Up Rider PB-01 Common Rider x -Aid, Action Gamer Level 1 Full Action. That's still a mouthful to say. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching.